Devin Haney's master class. He's going to put on a fucking show, a, puck, a fucking performance. I'm going to go see that. I'm going to go watch that. And that's what he did last night at the Chase Center. People knew. People wanted to see a master class performance. And he delivered. That's the most important thing here. He delivered. He didn't let us down. He didn't, even though it was a one sided fight, he didn't make it boring. We kept watching. And we were just, and the commentary, Twitter was like just blown away by Devin. So now you have a new star, a new guy who will sell you pay per view, who will sell you tickets. That's what we got last night. We're not going to see Devin Haney not do pay per view now. It's only pay per view from here for Devin. It's only money, money, money for Devin and everyone who's involved with selling tickets and all that shit. He's fucking a cash cow now. And you have to respect that too because we know a lot of good boxers, a lot of good fighters that are good, but unfortunately just don't have that pool to sell. With that performance, everybody on notice. Devin now, he's a pay-per-view fighter. You know, he sold out the Chase Center or Chase Arena where the Golden State Warriors play basketball. He sold that bitch out. Full, packed house. Everybody cheering on Devin Haney. Yeah, it was in the Bay Area. People, so, But that's how much people support Devin. And they're going to spend their money to go watch him perform. You know, and, and that's why we go watch certain, certain fights. Because you know your guy's going to perform. So I went to go watch Pitbull Cruz the last few years. Pitbull Cruz, I saw Canelo, and then I saw Brandon Moreno. So three fights, three live events in the last three years. So one per year, maybe you could say. Um, Austin, UFC Austin was here the other day. And I know this is Ryan Garcia was here the other day, too, uh, last week in uh, San Antonio or Houston. Houston. I wanted to go to these fights, but I said, man, I just want to, but I want to see like, you know, a certain guy, whether it's Brandon, Canelo, Devin, Tank. I want to see one of those guys because you're just going to see a master class performance. Don't get me wrong. Benil Derouche, Armand Sarukian, both both good guys, but, you know, not at the highest level. Ryan Garcia, a really good guy, but not at the highest level. I'm like, eh, I'll, I'll stay at home and watch it. But if Devin Haney was fighting here, and I'm like, bro, Devin Haney's master class. He's going to put on a fucking show, a, puck, a fucking performance. I'm going to go see that. I'm going to go watch that. And that's what he did last night at the Chase Center. People knew. People wanted to see a master class performance. And he delivered. That's the most important thing here. He delivered. He didn't let us down. He didn't, even though it was a one-sided fight, he didn't make it boring. We kept watching. And we were just, and the commentary, Twitter was like just blown away by Devin. So now you have a new star, a new guy who will sell you pay-per-view, who will sell you tickets. That's what we got last night. We're not going to see Devin Haney not do pay-per-view now. It's only pay-per-view from here for Devin. It's only money, money, money for Devin. And everyone who's involved with selling tickets and all that shit, he's fucking a cash cow now. And you have to respect that too because we know a lot of good boxers, a lot of good fighters that are good, but unfortunately just don't have that pool to sell, right? Tafimo is a good example. He, for some reason, I just don't know when he fights. I know I said that he only fought once. The dude has fought three times since he lost to George Cambosis or four. I had no fucking clue. No clue. And maybe it's just I don't know, but it, I mean, it's just not. I mean, I know Devin's last few fights, right? I, I forgot who he fought before Cambosis. But it was Cambosis, Cambosis, Lomachenko, and then... uh What's his name? The guy he just fought last night, Pro Gray. <clears throat> Tank Davis. I know his last recent fights, things like that, right? So Devin, Devin's pay-per-view material now, that's all he is. And also, I love this too because before Devin, <clears throat> Tank Davis was the only one that was solely doing pay-per-view events. Solely pay-per-view events. Now he has some competition. Now he has that pressure. Hey, there's someone else you want to watch now. And that's Devin. Excuse me. <clears throat> Ryan Garcia by himself, it's hard for him to sell out an arena. It's hard for him to sell out a pay-per-view event successfully. Same thing with T.O., same thing with George Cambosa, same thing with Lomachenko, 
um there you know we ha- and, and and there's certain fights you can make and they will sell you a lot of pay-per-view events but it's like a just a clash right so um and 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 tank is the only one that does solely pay-per-view but now now you got another guy who can solely do pay-per-view and that's devin haney and i love that because i there was a video i did last week i think and i said you know tank davis is never going to fight the prime version of haney he's never going to fight to female he's never going to fight those prime versions he probably won't fight pitbull cruz again either like he's just not going to fight the best versions of those guys he's not going to do that he just wants to sell wants to make himself look good and, and make a lot of money you know i don't think he's in it for for the sport of boxing i just don't know but from what i see that's how i see it you know you put you put in rehydration clause on on a fighter like ryan who's not at i mean you're a, you're an elite boxer and ryan's trying to be an elite boxer and you gave him a rehydration clause Ryan doesn't stand a chance with you in the ring, bro. Why are you putting in a rehydration clause? You want to make sure you get a weak version of Ryan and you beat his ass. You maybe get the knockout and you and you look good. You know, and, and you got to give him that. He has probably a good team behind him and that they pull the strings and, and they manage this and they make him, make him look a certain way. But now, you know, that's Tank. He's selling out Tank, Tank this, Tank that, Tank, Tank, Tank. All I've been hearing for the last three years is just tank, right? And I'm just like, bro, I just want somebody to give him a challenge, whether it's the pay-per-views or the actual fight or or the pool or the attention. Somebody, just somebody give him a challenge. Give him some competition. And and I will say also this, and, um, you know, Tank and Devin, Shakur, who else? I feel like I'm missing somebody, but they're black fighters, right? And this is, and I love, like, when, you know, people get behind a fighter because he's Mexican, black, uh, Puerto Rican, whatever it may be. And and I, like, people, like, when I went to go watch Pitbull Cruz, like, people ride hard for Earl Spence. And I love, I, I just love watching, like, the community support their guy. And, and I love right now that Tank is in a position where I think he had the whole community behind him, like, the black community behind him. But now you got Devin who put on this master class performance. And you're gonna see people from like the Devin, the people support, I mean people that support Tank. They're gonna cut, they're gonna watch Devin Haney now. They're gonna watch Devin. So now you got like, and now people are gonna be like, bro, Tank, I wanna see you fight Devin. Devin, I wanna see you fight Tank. Now you have this conversation. Same thing with like the uh Canelo and and Benavides, both Mexican fighters. I, I want to see that fight for the longest. It was just Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Um, you know, he's Mexican Canelo. That's my guy. He's Mexican, whatever. But now you got the Mexican monster Mexican. And he wants to smoke with Canelo, another Mexican. I'm like, bro, you couldn't ask for anything more as a Mexican boxing fan. You could say, I want that fight. So I would assume in the black community, it would be the same thing. I would want to see Gervonta Davis and Devin. I want to see that now as a Mexican. I want that fight. But like I said, that just puts like the, the Me- Canelo feels the pressure from his own Mexican people. You know, and as a fighter, you don't want to let your people down. You don't want to let your Mexican community down. You know, that's how I see it. And I was pretty bummed out by Canelo's comment that I'm the king and I can make my own decisions. Yeah, you're the fucking king, but hey, your Mexican community is asking for this fight and you got to deliver on that, bro, because we support and we watch you all the time. So same thing with Javante Davis. I think that's what's going to end up happening. He's going to get that pressure from his community and they're going to want that fight for Tank. And I, I just like that that's happening, right? Um. So, again, Devin, uh, Devin Haney's pay-per-view material, no question, no question. He's only going to do pay-per-view events, and he sold out an arena, and he delivered. So, it, it was amazing. 